So, last example. Um, we could replace x with r cosine theta and y with r sine of theta, but then we'd have to square them. And I think you guys would agree, we don't really want to do squaring of binomials, all that kind of stuff. But from chapter 2, we should be pretty familiar with expanding these. right? This is x plus 3 times x plus 3. These are binomial squared. This is not x squared plus 3 squared. right? So we've got to expand it. So that's why I'm going to assume that you are following me with that logic. And you can expand here. Now, in this case, again, my goal is to rewrite this in terms of polar, in terms of r's and thetas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to group everything with the x squared with the y squareds. I don't know. Every single time I do this, I keep on doing that. Okay. So that's r squared plus 6 um, r cosine theta plus 6 r sine theta. And we could subtract an AT on both sides equals 0. So again, now I have three r's. I have an r squared and then two r's here. Now again, is this technically converted to, to polar form? Of course it is, right? But let's pretend this is not going to be on our multiple choice answer list. So we need to work it out a little bit more. So again, can we combine our r's to get to just one? No, they're not like terms. Not only are they like terms, one's quadratic, one's linear, right? One's squared, one's linear. So therefore, if we can't combine them, we should, all, we should look to factor them. Now, here's a cool thing about factoring in this case. When I factor them, when I factor out an r, what does my, um, what does my factored form multiply to? Yeah, but I have this times this equals? Zero. So I have the product of two factors equal to zero. That means I can apply the zero product property. So does this equation make sense? R is equal to zero. No. You have a distance away from zero. Is that going to produce a like graph? No. Right? Well, it's like the or it doesn't even produce a graph, right? So we're just going to eliminate that. And we're just going to focus on this equation, which is r equals negative 6 cosine of theta minus 6 sine of theta. And that would be our answer choice. Okay.